How's it going guys, this is this Isolate here, bringing you week 5 of the FBL against Aaron2420 and the Block Island Infernapes. So uh, yeah, as you can see, we are bringing the Mega Metacham, why not, it's really powerful. Uh, we are bringing the Breloom for the first time, it's season debut, uh, Porygon2, and Golbat, the Eviolite Core. Um, Assault Vest on Maldo with Aqua Jet, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and uh, Exizor, and Choice Scarf, Jolly, Tyranitar with Stealth Rocks, Crunch, um, Stealth Rocks, Crunch, EQ, and Crunch. No, oh, I, I said Crunch twice. Stealth Rocks, Crunch, EQ, and Stone Edge. Uh, and then the, Golbat and Porygon 2 are standard, whatever. And then the uh, Brayloom is Focus Sash with Bullet Seed. Uh, mock Punch, Drain Punch, and uh, Spore, and then the Mega Manicham has the Fake Out, Bullet Punch, Drain Punch, and High Jump Kick, so I felt like High Jump Kick and Drain Punch were kind of nice to put both of them on there, to kind just for Drain Punch for recovery. He had the potential to bring in Umbreon, and I was super stoked not to see it, because it's I mean, it, it looks like my team is pretty well prepared, prepared for it, but uh, it's <laughs> Umbreon is, is always a problem. It doesn't matter if you have like five fighting types or six. So I'm gonna lead off with prophecy. He was he was he leads off with stag, his pincer. So he's just gonna switch up, switch right out, and uh, go into sonar here. The vaporeon. I was scared that this thing was gonna protect. And I don't want I didn't want to get um, high jump kick like. I, I don't want that to happen. So he actually goes into here. I'm gonna make this slow. He actually goes into Latios as I switch into my Golbat, and that was scary. So I had to switch out because I still wanted my Golbat, obviously. Um, so yeah, he's gonna calm mind. He sets up two calm minds, and Porygon two foolishly misses a stupid freaking Toxic here, and that's really bad because yeah, I, I would well, I would have loved another round of Toxic there, which. I mean, I land the Toxic that turn, but it's still, yeah, it's still bad, so. This thing is shown, Psyshock and Tox, and, uh, Calm Mind. I wanted to switch into Tyranitar, but I felt like that was too obvious, so I just stayed in. Um, if I had switched in right there, I would be in a, be in a great position, because I could just Choice Scarf, crunch it, outspeed it. That would have been fun, but, uh, I didn't, so in comes Prophecy, just gonna bring it in, um, nothing really takes too many hits from this thing, I'm gonna get a crit on the fake out, didn't really matter too much, in fact I would've loved if I didn't get the crit, because then Poison wouldn't have killed him, and I could've bullet punched him next turn and gotten the kill with Prophecy, but instead, Braylon get, or Porygon 2 gets the kill with the Toxic, so, whatever, uh, yeah, so, Vaporeon's gonna come in, again, I'm scared of the Protect, I don't wanna take half health, I don't wanna lose health, on my Metacham. So I'm just gonna go straight for the Scald, I'm fine with that. Uh, I can, I just went into Galbat, that's fine, I can take that. Uh, as long as he doesn't get, as long as he doesn't burn me, that's fine. Like, even if he burns me, I don't really have, I have Super Fang, Roost, Defog, and Toxic, so it's fine. I'm gonna Super Fang here, take Levine down to half health, and he's going to get his leftovers, which is nice for him. Uh, and I'm gonna switch out, because I didn't really want to super fang again. I felt like he was gonna get the rocks up and I wanted to get momentum. So let's just right into Tyranitar. He goes for the Lava Plume, does not get the burn, which is nice. And uh, yeah, he's gonna get some leftovers, which is fine. Uh, I didn't want to reveal the EQ just yet. I believe I just go for the Stone Edge. He goes into Sonar and I think I guess with the Stealth Rocks. Sorry, I <laughs> this battle was last night. I'm I'm kinda, you know. I forget if it, if I had recorded it last night, that would have been better because I would have remembered my moves more. But uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna switch out, go back into Golbat, because why the hell not? Why the hell not? Uh, he's gonna go for the Scald that turn, does not get the burn again, which is great. And um, I mean, I feel like everyone thinks that Scald like should burn every turn. It has, it has a 30% chance to burn. It's not like it's supposed to burn every single time, you know? That's like, what? What's the comparison? That's like Body Slam paralyzing. Like, do you really expect Body, body Slam or, or Lava Plume burning, you know? One of those things. So, like, because they both have 30% chance to burn. Anyway, I'm gonna, he's gonna switch into his Heatran. I'm going to go for the Super Fang. 
miss him, which kind of stinks because I don't want that. I have the Super Fang this turn. I don't really have. I I don't want to switch into a possible burn. He does get the burn this time with the Lava Plume, so there's that Lava Plume burn, <laughs> as I was just talking about. But uh, yeah, I can't roost, so I'm kind of forced to switch. Uh, I do kind of want to talk, try to talk to the Vaporeon if I can. So I'm gonna switch into Tyranitar. Um, he's going to Lava Plume again. If if he had gotten a burn right here, that would have been just horrendous. But uh, yeah, he didn't, so that's nice. So I'm going to miss a Stone Edge here, which really does stink, as I believe he gets the Rot. No, he goes to the Toxic. He goes to the Toxic here, which is kind of bad, because, you know, Stone Edge wouldn't have... Actually, would have killed? I don't know. I know I go for the Stone Edge here, land it. Yeah, so it wouldn't have killed, but it would have given me only, like, one round of Toxic, which would have been nice. Or two, I guess, after killing him. But here, I have to go through... Another round of Toxic. I don't know why I taunted there. Like, I have rocks up. There's not much I can do. Um, I guess he, he couldn't really hit me with much. If he had rocks, he would probably go for that. But let's see. Flash can I guess he didn't have Flash Cannon then. I guess he had Taunt, <clears throat> Stel uh, taunt Toxic, Lava Plume, and something. Maybe Substitute. I don't know. I'm guessing not rocks, because he could have gone for that. Anyway, I'm going to switch into Crust here. My Armaldo, he's going to go for the Stone Edge. Does a lot of damage. I don't like that too much, uh, but I can just go into uh, Golbat here, I believe. Maybe no, I maybe I just stayed in. I'm sorry, I don't I don't remember. <laughs> this is so slow. Okay, yeah, I do switch into Golbat. No, I switch into Prophecy. Not too sure why. I guess I knew I could take any hit. And, um, oh, I know I could take a Stone Edge, and I knew he was going to go for Stone Edge again, so. Then that would have given me the momentum, but instead he just, um, brings in Vaporeon. and I'm able to fake out here. Nothing really wants to eat a High Jump Kick, not even a Pinsir. I think High Jump Kick combined with Bull Punch with the Stealth Rocks up, uh, I think that would kill him, so. You just have to sack something off at that point, and, uh, it, it ended up being the Vaporeon, so. Uh, it's going to bring in Venup, Venup. Venom here, and I'm going to bring in my Golbat, knowing that he's probably not going to knock off. Uh, he just goes to the Gunshot. Now, if I wasn't burned, I could have eaten two of those and um, and roosted up, which would have been nice, because after the game, he actually told me he, told me he was Scarfed, which I never took into consideration. But, um, yeah, Golbat goes down there, and uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty close right now. It's a pretty tight pos position. So I'm gonna go into Tyranitar. He knows I have the Earthquake at this point, so there's, I have to go for Earthquake. He's gonna go into Pinsir, which is kind of bad, but you know, he, he's a great prediction on his point. I don't even think, yeah, I hadn't gone for the Earthquake at that point, but it was so obvious that there's no reason for him to think not because I'm not gonna Stone Edge on a Toxic Croak. I'm not gonna Crunch on a Toxic Croak. I would eat, I would eat, Earthquake, Earthquake, out of three, so. He's gonna bring in, or I'm gonna bring in Crush, just sacking it off, basically. He goes for close combat. This thing could be Choice Scarf or Choice Banded or something. Maybe it's Choice Scarf. Uh, it's not Life Orb, so not sure. He does have the Moxie Boost though, so I'm just gonna go, just gonna go into Mega Pincer here, Mega Pincer, Mega Metacham here, and just fake out. No reason not to, as um, yeah, I'm going to uh, take him out. So that's nice. Uh, so, here's the part that got a little haxy. Uh, he's gonna bring in Meyer. I really expected to kill with a bullet punch here, but it turns out he was max HP, max defense. Uh, I think he was bold. So, this was an this was a complete high roll. It had a, a chance to do like 76 to 84%, and it did 84%. Like, that's insane. And uh, he's gonna be able to kill with Moonblast, even with no uh, special attack investment. So, that kind of sucks. If you can hear the back room, no, he's sorry about that. But. Whatever, uh, here I'm gonna go for Drain Punch. I didn't expect to outspeed, cause, you know, like, it's a Mega DNC, but he didn't have any speed. Like I said, max HP, max defense. So, uh, I was able to kill with that Drain Punch. I just went for Drain Punch because I knew the Sandstorm was subsiding, and I didn't want to mock punch in, in case he brought in Venom here. So he's gonna go for the Cross Trap. A little weird, I didn't really expect that, but, you know, obviously he's, he's Scarfed, so, whatever. So he's gonna be able to kill my Tyranitar if I don't kill with this Leprechaun, so, um... Yeah, so, uh, next turn, he's gonna stay asleep, obviously. I get three hits with Bolt Punch. That's crucial, because if I got gotten two, this could've gone way different. And here I'm going to get a crit with Mock Punch. Without that crit, I wouldn't have killed, but... 
you really don't know. You never know. Because I could have gotten... First of all, he could have stayed asleep that turn. If he had woken up, woken up he, he, he had a chance to miss the cross trap twice. Like, like he would outspit Tyranitar because he was scarfed. And obviously Toxic Group's faster than Tyranitar. But um, he, he had the potential to miss two cross tops. And he might not have even woken up there. If he had woken up there... Uh, after living the mock punch, if I hadn't gotten a crit, then odds were in his favor to to win because all I had to do is quick cross drop twice. But I don't know. That's gonna be it. We are four and one. I forget our differential. I don't already. <laughs> that's not my main focus is the record and uh, four and one. It's not that bad. So uh, hoping that we can do well, just as good if not better next week. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.